Morning, senpai. Yo, so are you ready for the trip yet? This guy won't shut up about it. <laughs> Yosuke senpai hasn't even started packing. He's all like, was that tomorrow? What's up with that? You are way too excited about this. I mean, you're even worried about how many boxes of animal crackers to bring. We're only gonna be there for two nights, dude. Besides, I'm pretty sure they have convenience stores in Port Island. They're serious? I've never really left this place, so... Huh. I wonder if the murders here got as much play over there, too. Like that Mitsuo Kubo dude. They're still showing him on TV here. Every time I switch on the tube, the news is showing, like, what he wrote in his yearbook. Pisses me off, man. The freaking media slapping together anything they can find to make the dude look like a born criminal. People think they can say anything they want about a guy who's been branded a criminal. It's just not right. I mean, I still hate the guy's guts, but I don't know. After getting involved with all this, I started to realize how off-base most rumors are. It's so messed up. Well, I gotta admit, the news can be pretty out there. Hey, it's Naoto. Yo, how's it going? Good morning. Oh yeah, I I'm on duty today. <laughs> well, see you later. <sighs> He's the messed up one. Senpai. That's so. Uh... Let's go. Yo. Oh, Senpai. this.
Well, see ya. Oh, welcome back. Wow, what's up with this place? This school's way too big. Wait, if we can't beat them on size, we're totally sunk. Well, <clears throat> next I will explain about our fine educational institution and the reasons for its establishment. I'd like to start with a proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Oh, is this principal in love with his own voice or what? Chie, he'll hear you. <coughs> Our school is closed today. But uh, because of this rare opportunity for cultural exchange, some of our students will walk you through these halls. First, though, a student body representative will say a few words. Thank you, principal. Welcome to Gekko-kan High School. My name is Chihiro Fushimi. I'm a third-year student and the student council president here at Gekko-kan. It's an honor to meet you all today. Holy crap! That girl's unbelievable! Yeah, you're right. She is cute. I gotta say, she's the most bewitching, bespectacled beauty I've ever beheld. You guys, stop overreacting. This is the first time our school has invited another student body for a true cultural exchange. To learn about others is to learn about oneself and is the first step on the road to self-betterment. This I believe. To ensure a worthwhile experience for each and every one of you, we will do our best to help you accomplish that. So let us enjoy our time together. Thank you very much. She beat me in every category. All right. Everyone get into groups with your classmates. Oh no. Excuse me, could I bother you for a moment? This is today's schedule for everyone. Could you hand it out later, please? I forgot to do it myself. Sorry to be so disorganized. And you all came so far. No, I'm still struggling. Even with everyone's support, I'm barely pulling through. I used to get nervous very easily, and I once had a phobia of men, too. In fact, I didn't write the speech on my own. One of the former student council presidents helped me. She was the president my first year here, and she was amazing. I always looked up to her. I should call her later and tell her the speech was a success. Oh, I'm sorry. Listen to me going on and on about myself. I have to stop babbling when I get nervous. Um, your group is scheduled for a special lecture soon. The classroom is on the second floor. I have some arrangements to make with your student council, so please excuse me. Did I just hear her say special lecture? We came all this way to be lectured? Let's see, our class is... It's being taught by someone named Mr. Etagawa. The lecture's about... Kabbalah. Kaba what? You don't know? It's a casino. So, when's our free period? Uh, ooh, we don't get one. We have classes all through today. Tonight and tomorrow we'll be staying at a hotel. We'll have free time tomorrow and the day after until we leave at noon. You gotta be kidding me. Come on, guys. Let's focus on our studies for now so we can enjoy our free time later.
All righty, here we are. The Seaside Clamshell Inn. We'll be staying here tonight. Is this really a regular hotel? So, what do you think? It was me who found this place. It just opened not too long ago. It's got that modern look. And the price was right. Personally, I think it was an excellent choice. We're staying here? I mean, the sign says hotel, but... It opened recently. Dude, this totally looks like a lot of... You there, don't just stand there. Keep marching in. Isn't there something funny about this place? Is there? We don't have these modern hotels in Inaba, so I can't tell. Um, this area is called Shirakawa Boulevard, and it's... That's all right, Rise. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> Faster than I expected. This is quite the hotel. If they were to meet me, I wonder... What would the look on Yosuke's face be? Oh, oh, who's that? Look, up there! <gasps> it can't be. Yeah! Heh heh heh, shooby dooby. Teddy, what are you doing here? The lonely bear inside of me went stir crazy. Ugh, if only I could detect people in the real world. How'd you get here? Do you have some special ability? Meh, I took the train. I swore off topsicles and saved up the money I got working at Junas. I knew where you were going thanks to Yosuke's trip guide. You guys have free time tomorrow, right? No use hiding it. I already know. How in the world did you make it here looking like that? I mean, why wear the bear suit here? I almost got thrown in the trash a couple times. But I kept hanging on to the promise Chie-chan made to go on a date with me. That's what gave me strength to carry on. Uh, good job, Teddy. <laughs> did, did I promise that? <laughs> well, yeah, I do remember saying that I'd go out with you someday. Whee! You remembered, Chie-chan. Is it okay with Yuki-chan and Rise-chan too? Let's all go together, then. Is that all right with you? Mm, it's a deal. I've been here before, so I'll show you around tomorrow. I guess we can go shopping first. And I know a great place we can hit later on. Ooh, shopping! That sounds great! <laughs> the other students don't know Port Island that well, so they're just going to go wherever the school recommends. Well, I guess a shopping spree beats a factory tour. All right, we're in two. <laughs> Leave it to me. Now, before the fun starts, we gotta deal with this guy. Can't you sleep outside for the night? That suit should keep you nice and cozy. Cruelty to animals! You don't know how much trouble I went through to get here! I took the slow train all this way! Do you hear? The slow train! Now, now, you kids aren't bickering about your room allocations, are you? Oh, crap! What's the matter? Oh, what's this giant teddy bear? My, it's so big. Go on, hurry on inside with it. By the way, these rooms are amazing. Every room has a waterbed. But uh, don't flip the wrong switch when you're turning on the lights or your bed will start spinning. Anyways, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm exhausted. For so many reasons.
I gotta pee. Whoa! So this is a club. Woo! I'm totally ready for this! There's nothing like this back home. Is it permitted for high school students such as yourselves to be here? What? Dude, look who's talking. You were here before we were. That's right. I guess if the first years came on the trip, you'd be here too. The clientele here seems above board, so I don't expect there'll be any problems. Huh? You're leaving? Why don't you join us? Are you... asking me to stay? Uh-huh. We didn't get to chat last time. Uh, I... it's just that I had some matters to attend to that day. Well, you're free now, right? I was really eager to talk to you. I'm curious how someone my age is working as a detective. How about it? Mm, very well, if you insist. Huh? What's up? You look a little red. Th that's not true. Wait here. I'll go reserve the area upstairs for us. Okay. Wait, what? Reserve? Yep. Don't worry. I think I can pull some strings. Uh, <clears throat> What's wrong, man? Stomach pains? Mm, that ain't it. Are you sure this is all right? Isn't it expensive? No worries. Two years ago, when I had a secret show here, the power went out in the middle of it and the gig was cancelled. They still owe me from then, so they're willing to put this one on the house. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm gonna order more! Woo! I'm not gonna hold back either! Dude, you sound even weirder today. Oh! You're so cold, Kanji! <laughs> Kanji! 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 I conjecture that something's up! <laughs> That's a great one. Man, you're already in high gear. <laughs> conjecture? <laughs> uh, she's looser than usual, too. Hey, wait a sec. Are these liquor? I told them to give us soft drinks. They're non-alcoholic. Mm. I told them. Really, I did. Really. Oh, sheesh. I was wondering why it's so hot. Is this seriously booze? <laughs> but the smells... King's game! Times like this, adults play the king's game. It's the law. What's their problem? They make me act like a ditz, call me resent and stuff, and then say I'm a kid? It's so obvious. Those rap parties get a lot funner after I go home. Morons! I'm gonna play the king's game now, and ain't no one gonna stop me. Yet another side of Risa exposed. I wonder if she knows what she's saying. Kanji! Get the chopsticks ready! What? Why me? The king's word is law! Chop chop! I it's already started? Um... What's this king's game again? Okay. One chopstick makes you the king if you draw it, and the others have numbers on them. The king picks the number and says what that person has to do. But who has which number is a secret until the king gives the orders. 
Senpai, you're such an adult. You tell him. Y Yukiko? Where'd you learn this stuff? Come on, everyone draw! Okay, so... Who's the king? Teddy's is red! Red! Is Teddy the king? Uh, we're already doomed from the get-go. I, the king, command thee to smooch the king without delay! Smooch! Smooch? Please, God. Grant me a girl. Number three! Ah! I'm at number two! No take backs! Smooch! Smooch! Kanji! So you were after my fuzzy fur! Okay. But it's my first time. Be gentle. Whoa! Ow! Hey, quit that! Don't make me flatten you, damn it! Ah! No! Hey! Help! Oh -ho! Only the first round and two contestants have dropped out already. Huh? Is it that kind of game? On to round two! The king. Phew! Someone decent. No crazy orders this time. That's not how it goes. If the last king demanded a smooch, then the next order's gotta be more extreme. T.A., don't be such a party pooper. <laughs> hey! The person who gets picked should have to rest their head on the king's lap. Mm. Nah, make him sit on his lap. Oh, or they could have to hug him. Better than that, a piggyback ride. Come on, King, who's gonna do what? What? Oh, man, you don't know how much I want to trade places with you right now. <laughs> Senpai's lap is so warm. It feels so nice. <laughs> Me next! Me! I am the king! Actually, the queen. You didn't even draw a chopstick. All right, then. Let's have someone talk about something really embarrassing that they'd never want to tell anyone. Hmm, let's see. Oh, no, Tokun. I choose you. She's breaking all the rules. Just ignore her, Naoto. No, no, that won't be necessary. One stipulation, though. If I do this, the rest of you must reveal something as well. Okay. No particularly embarrassing experiences come to mind. Would discussing my life be fair game? It's the rare situation like this that gives me call to speak of such things. Damn, way to kill the mood. The Shiragane family has been detectives for generations now. We lend our powers to the police from time to time. For generations? Wow, it's like that guy from a movie I watched before. What was his name? Kuzu... Noha? In days gone by when there were no crime scene investigators, consulting detectives were considered more valuable. 
Thus, my grandfather still has a strong connection with the police and looks after me, despite my youth and inexperience. But investigators nowadays are well-versed in science and medicine, so I must further my studies. That sounds tough. Uh, that's it? No punchline? <sighs> I fear you may be looking to the wrong person for that. That's so embarrassing! Isn't Hotokun embarrassing? I want to go home. <sighs> I'm sleepy. Well then, it's your turn now. Straight answer, please. What is your true involvement with the murder case? You know, you're so good at killing the mood that it's almost funny. Well, we go rescuing people who've been kidnapped by jumping into the TV. And then we do stuff like Persona! With our personas and beat the crap out of shadows. You idiot! Are you making fun of me? It's true! Persona! Gee, someone put these two drunks to bed already. I see now that you had no intention of telling me the truth. But I'm curious, how did you become so inebriated? This isn't alcohol. Good one, Naoto! No, I confirmed it when I first entered. No alcohol has been served here since a rash of drunk driving last year. Huh? Does that mean we're all just drunk off the atmosphere? Who cares? <laughs> I feel so good. Good night! Hey, senpai! How the hell are we gonna get back with two passed out drunks? Well, this is giving me a big headache. Is this what a hangover feels like? Teddy's still totally okay! <laughs> Let's keep drinking till morning! <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on. As I said, you haven't been drinking alcohol. Are you a pack of imbeciles? something this place serves the best ramen in town when we were filming a lot of times I came here instead of eating box lunches hmm you're not hungry um <laughs> what happened last night I don't remember much about it oh I think the two of us fell asleep quick I heard it got pretty wild though I see I don't remember at all <laughs> Ah, this flavor never changes. I couldn't come here too often because it's high in carbohydrates, so being able to eat as much as I want is like a dream. Ooh, this is delicious. It has an interesting taste that makes you hungry for more. See? See? Another bowl, please. Keep the noodles hard. Um, I'll have the hug of curry bowl. The Haga Curry Bowl's a normal menu item now? Oh, I should have asked. Oh well, this is just as good. Hey, is it okay for you to be out in the open like this? Sure, no problem. See those signing boards? My autograph's up there too, but the cook doesn't give me a second glance. That's just how it is over here. Plus, I'm barely wearing any makeup. Oh, you're right. There's a lot of autographs on display. You know what I think? The reason they don't notice you is because this bear sticks out like a sore thumb. I guess if he wore that over here, he'll have to go home wearing it. Isn't it all steamy inside from the ramen? Huh? Where's my bowl? You didn't eat it, did you? Y you didn't finish, so... <laughs> I was going to finish it! Hey, didn't you just order more a second ago? How many have you eaten? I don't know how to count. You little liar, give me that check. Let's see here. One, 
to... Ten bowls? Yuki-chan's makes it eleven! I was going to finish mine. They were there. I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's close to the meeting time. Oh, already? I thought the trip was going to be a bore. But now that it's over, I actually had a good time. Hey, let's buy a souvenir at the station. I bet Nanako-chan will be expecting one. All right, let's get going. Come on, Teddy, we're leaving. Yo. Hey, Ted. Don't make me rub your fur the wrong way, you little... Dude, hey, he ain't moving. I, I, is he hibernating? Hey, don't don't tell me. It's not because he's been in our world too long, is it? Are you serious, Teddy? <clears throat> My tummy's heavy. Leave it behind. I ate too much. Can't move. Someone carry me. I mustn't be late for our rendezvous. Please excuse me. Ah, oh, Yukiko! Wait for me! Hey! I really can't move! And I don't have the money for a return ticket! Farewell, Teddy. We shall leave you here, along with our memories of youth. Oh, you're back. We just missed each other, huh? Look! My big bro got me a souvenir! Hey, nice! Did you remember to thank him? Of course! Huh. I guess that came out of your own pocket. Thanks. You went to Tatsumi Port Island, yeah? <laughs> I guess the city was no big deal for a guy like you. By the way, if the first years went along with you, Naoto Shirogane must have been there too. You talk to him much? He's mature for his age, but he's still a year younger than you. Try to make friends with him, will you? He's a cocky brat, but he's honest. The higher-ups are losing their patience with him. It doesn't matter if his argument holds water or not. At this rate, he won't accomplish anything but getting himself booted off the team. Adults can be a selfish bunch. Oh, sorry. You must be tired. Why don't you take a bath? Oh, but don't forget to take your stuff upstairs. Nanako, can you get the bath ready? Welcome back. to 
I think that's enough for today. Yeah, I feel like I haven't been that on form in a while. Hey, um, there's something I want to tell you. Something I've been thinking about all this time. I, I still don't have a clue what my good points are. But I thought I could just keep on searching. I just want to protect people, and to do it, I'll stand up and fight. I'm gonna fight alongside you till the very end. I mean, we'll always be friends. Yeah! This is from me to you. Oh, and it's new, so it's clean. It makes a matching pair with mine. <laughs> I think this power of mine is what I wanted all along. The power to protect everyone. I understand now. I'm not supposed to use it to become more self-reliant. I'm supposed to use this power to protect people. Yukiko, my friends, my family, this town, and you. Thank for this. No matter how far apart we may be in the future, we'll be okay. This feeling won't ever change.
My body and mind are all worn out. Let's go get some meat, and I mean the good stuff! Good evening, and welcome to Nightline's special Night Watch Report. A suspect in the murders in Inaba was safely arrested recently. But what few people know is that the mastermind who brought him to justice was a high school detective. Tonight's report will focus on this detective prince, Naoto Shirogane, whose handsome looks are sweeping the nation. Thanks for being on the show. No, no. The pleasure is all mine. Oh, his uniform's the same as yours. First, congratulations to you and the police for your recent arrest of the culprit. It was well known that there were a lot of mysteries surrounding this case, and you did a great job clearing them up. I'd hesitate to say that the matter is cleared up as such. It's true that our suspect was behind Mr. Moraoka's unfortunate death, but when I cast my eye over the case as a whole, I detect a few things that seem out of place. Oh? Like what? Unfortunately, I cannot divulge details at this time, but this matter claimed the lives of three people. Hence, I believe even the smallest inconsistency must be investigated. I... I see. I have to say, this is a surprise in light of the police's official statement. Now for our next segment, The Detective Prince's True Identity, where Naoto-kun tells us a little bit about himself. Amazingly, The Detective Prince has solved a whopping 24 cases. 16 of them were... There's a detective at your school? When I'm older, I'm going to go to your school, too. Hi, Senpai. Yo. Hey, did you see the show on TV last night? Now Dokun was on. That thing about the detective prince solving the case? Come on, we're the ones who actually caught the killer. But the police were the ones who identified the suspect, and he was cooperating with them on it, right? So it's true that he helped solve the case. I'm kind of surprised, though. I didn't think he was the type to go after the spotlight like that. Good morning. I've been waiting for you all. There's something I needed to discuss with you regarding the case. Discuss? Dude, we'll be late if we talk too long. Hey, where's your uniform? Could you please indulge my current theory on the matter? What is it? First, as regards commonalities between the victims, all of them were kidnapped before they were murdered. The victims were all locals who had been the focus of recent media attention, becoming suddenly well-known. That is the most likely scenario. I don't believe there's anything intrinsically unique about the victims themselves. Haven't you all come to the same conclusion? Then allow me to state my point. Will you admit that a number of you fit these identical circumstances? There was a long interval between the second and third deaths in this case. But after I applied the aforementioned criteria, I discovered several similar disappearances had taken place. Yukiko Amagi, Kanji Tatsumi, Risei Kujikawa. All of you disappeared shortly after being shown on TV. Either you escaped death somehow, or you faked your own disappearances in order to divert attention from yourselves. Since some of you had ties to the victims, there came a point where I suspected one of you must be the culprit. You thought one of us was the killer? Oh, you can't be serious! This was a prior theory, since discarded. Putting together everything I've learned until this moment, I believe exactly the opposite. You aren't the culprits. You may, in fact, be the only ones with the means to pursue the true perpetrator. Seen as a joining of forces between the rescued, everything falls into place. Of course, this is all speculation. There is in fact a flaw in the theory. It doesn't account for the third incident, Mr. Moraoka's murder. 
He has never been broadcast on television, and neither did he ever disappear. We must also consider the condition of his corpse. The first two victims are still listed with an unknown cause of death. But Mr. Moraoka died of an easily identifiable blunt force trauma to the occipital cranium. The police have not satisfactorily resolved this discrepancy, yet they are desperate to close the case. Further action will be necessary to obtain some sort of decisive evidence. Further action? What do you mean? Well, whatever the outcome, the evidence should come to light. You said something interesting to me not long ago. Hey, where are you going? This is not a game for me either. Naotokun?
been caught, do we still gotta worry about the Midnight Channel? But then, someone said the blurry image seemed like an advance notice. What exactly is the Midnight Channel anyway? Did it have anything to do with the murders? Ah, this is so frustrating. Hey, what do you think? Did you recognize who appeared just now? Naoto? Why would he show up on TV? Now that you mention it, I wonder what he thinks about the Midnight Channel. Ah, I don't get this at all. It's gonna keep nagging at me, I can tell. I'm sure the others saw it too, so let's get together tomorrow and talk about it. Night. So, about the Midnight Channel last night, I wonder who that was. I talked to Teddy and he says no one's entered the other side. Well, yeah, the killer's been caught. Yeah. Huh? What's up? Come on, get with the program. You saw the TV last night, right? So? It's got nothing to do with us. The killer's behind bars, man. You guys are overreacting. She had that shit Nauto said didn't make any sense either. So there's no use getting all worked up about it. Huh? Nauto-kun? Uh, no, well, how do I put it? What, were you out of it because you were still thinking about what Naoto said? <laughs> so you're still hung up on all that stuff. That's... I ain't hung up on it! It's okay, we all understand. Just don't go overboard, man. You little... I said that's not it! <sighs> I got stuff to do. I'm out of here. Stop bringing that up, Yosuke. You know he doesn't think it's funny. Oh, what, what? Did something happen between Kanji and Naoto-kun? Well, that aside, is it me or does the town seem kind of strange lately? Everyone is in high spirits for some reason, and they all talk about other people, but never themselves. Really? I don't think it's anything special. Now that the murder case is solved, people feel relaxed, that's all. That's how society is. They all just want to get in on the latest trend. People get excited fast and lose interest even faster. It goes round and round. And there's no underlying reason for it. I don't know. It still seems a little too weird. It's like they're all afraid of something. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I just had this feeling. Huh. It's gonna rain again tonight. We should check the Midnight Channel just in case. Sorry, I called out of the blue. 
being a detective, solving cases. It ain't worth shit if he gets himself kidnapped. Damn, that idiot pisses me off. Anyways, let's get the gang together and meet first thing after school. Last night on TV, that was Naoto Kun for sure. What's the verdict, Teddy? Is he really in there? I do smell someone. It's just like before. Nothing's changed. Like before. Of course! That's why Naoto Kun appeared on the news so suddenly. He said something didn't seem right and that he wasn't convinced. He also believed that the people who are kidnapped appear on TV first, remember? Wait, you're saying he's using himself as bait? We came to the same conclusion he did, about how people who become famous through TV would disappear. Could he be trying to prove the theory by using himself? You mean he got kidnapped on purpose? That's crazy! He could be killed! He said, this is not a game for me either. It's all my fault. I'm the one that said that to him. Idiot! Why the hell did he just tell us? He knew we'd stop him if he did. Instead, he left us clues so we could figure it out and... I know! That son of a... But, but what about the killer the police are holding now? Mitsuo did kill King Moron, right? Now, I remember Naotoken mentioning this. He said it was strange that the police were able to identify the cause of Mr. Moraoka's death. Then is King Moron the only one Mitsuo killed? That'd explain why there were no signs of King Moron being thrown into the TV. The killer didn't change his methods for King Moron. It just seemed that way because it was done by someone else. Then whoever kidnapped Naotoken, that's the real killer? But, but wait a sec. Didn't Mitsuo say he was the one behind it all? Why would he take the blame for someone else's crime? Isn't that weird? And they said on the news that the culprit confessed to the other murders too. There's also something else that's been bothering me, but... Um... To hell with someone who's behind bars! If we don't get off our asses, that stupid Naoto's gonna die in there! We gotta go find him! Someone's definitely in here, and the world seems to have grown larger. That's amazing, Risei-chan. There's no way my nose can pick up that much. Shall I give you a massage? Don't bother her. It's the same as last time. I know he's here, but I can't tell where. I need something that'll help me understand him. I need some clues. Without that, I have no idea which way we should look. Damn it! There's too much we don't know about that kid, but if we don't do something, he's gonna... Hey, snap out of it! This is just like all the other times. Let's not panic, keep an eye on the weather, and do this like always. We'll save him no problem. First, we need to look for something that'll help us locate him. I, I know. I, I wasn't panicking. We know he's over here. So all we gotta do is get him out. I'm sorry I couldn't find him. All I need is some kind of hint to help me understand him better. Then I could find him for sure!
I'm sorry. I'll see you again. at Samagawa, he smiled at me and said, You remember too? Dad loves Mom. I feel sorry for him losing someone he loves. I have Dad though. Oh, I see. Dad also has me. I'm glad to be Dad's daughter. Turn to talk. Yay!
think so, too. Dad didn't forget about how we used to pick flowers at Samagawa. He smiled at me and said, You remember, too? Dad loves Mom. I feel sorry for him losing someone he loves. Yeah, I won't go anywhere. I'm glad to be Dad's daughter. Your turn to talk. Yay! Yo! No. Psst. 
sorry. Yeah, thanks. See ya. Listen, dear.
Thank you. Later. Let's go.
Hmm. I'm only telling you this because I trust you. You're right. Whoa! <laughs> All right.
Well, everyone's here. Did you find out more about Naoto-kun? I see. So he's being stubborn about the case. But it seems like it's rare for Naoto-kun to get so worked up over something. Okay, I've got a good feel for him. I think I can do this. It won't take long for me to find him with my persona, so be ready to follow me once I do. Is this place? It's all sci-fi. Hey, doesn't it remind you of those secret hideouts in live action shows? Oh yeah. <laughs> I used to watch Featherman all the time when I was a kid. I hear that those are really tough shoots. A lot of the actors do their own stunts, like jumping through fire themselves. Well, it's every man's dream to do that stuff. Yeah, I can understand that. They're action-based, like kung fu movies. And just the phrase secret hideout has this exciting ring to it. Actually, when I was a kid, I had my own secret place near the mountain by Yukiko's house. I'd pretend that a legendary kung fu master was teaching me special techniques. What the? Got it all wrong. But hey, so this secret hideout thing, it came from Naoto's mind? I guess our proper boy detective isn't as grown up as he looks. All right, let's get going. So 
someone else's turn. <laughs> Come on now! Damn, couldn't finish it. It's over. <laughs> Truly magnificent. Nato! Ah, it's about time you arrived. Dealing with this child has been quite a pain. No! No, no, don't go! It's useless speaking with you. I need to go back now. Why? Why are you leaving me here? Why am I always left alone? It's so lonely. I don't want to be alone. Nautokun. You wear the same face as me. It's as if you're implying we're one and the same. But the difference between me and you is... Why delude yourself? I am you! These childish gestures are no mere affectation. They're the truth! The fools all say it, don't they? You're only a child. Keep out of our business, kid, and so forth! No matter how many cases you spend hours cogitating over, no matter how many crimes you solve, you're a child in their eyes! It's your brain they're interested in, the gray matter locked up in that skull. As long as they need it, you're an ace, detective. But once you're done, it's back to the playpen with you. You haven't the means to deal with society's two-faced nature. You're just a lonely child. Naoto. I want to be a grown-up. I want to be a big boy right now. Then they'll see who I am. I... I want a reason for me to stay. That's enough. I can find my own reason for living. Ha! <laughs> I'm telling you that's impossible. You are but a child. How can you change that essential truth? Stop it! At your core, you admire the sort of strong and cool men who populate detective fiction. But in trying to emulate them, you must know that in truth, you're nothing of the sort. You're a child. There's no avoiding first principles. Admit that you're a child, and admit that there's nothing you can do about it! Now then, our analysis is complete. Let us begin the body alteration procedure! You have no objections, do you, Naoto Shiragane? Stop it! Naoto. Such a cool, manly name. But a name doesn't change the truth. It doesn't let you cross the barrier between the sexes. How could you become an ideal man when you were never male to begin with? Wait, what? Did he... did I hear that right? He's not a guy? I won't throw a tantrum. That accomplishes nothing. <laughs> How often I've heard those words from the adults. Throwing a tantrum won't solve anything, now, Tokun and other such bilge. They made you cry, didn't they? Yet here you are, mimicking those same men. What exactly are you trying to justify? What? It's all right. You needn't suffer anymore. That's why you're undergoing this body alteration procedure to begin with. You throw a tantrum, but it fails to change the situation a single bit. I can quite understand the feeling. After all, I am you. That's not true! Don't say it! It's okay. Let the kids spill the whole thing. If not... Nato's just gonna keep hurting. We'll just do our job and kick the Shadow's ass, yeah? <laughs> As if you know anything about me! You'll kick my ass, huh? Fine! Go ahead and try, you lizard-brained imbecile! Save the discussion for later! Here it comes! I am a 
am a shadow, the true self. What? Are you sick of yourselves too? Very well. Then let's begin this special operation. Bring it on, man. I'll pull you through this. Operation? I hate ouchies. Have you made up your mind? Then let us commence. Never do. Patience must lie still for me to drill proper holes into them. so much! Now Talcoon was a girl. <sighs> Are you awake? Where am I? 
am I? I remember you all arriving and... That's right. You saw everything. <laughs> I lost both my parents in an accident. I was still young, so my grandfather took me in. I was inept at making friends, so I spent my time reading detective novels in my grandfather's study. When I grow up, I'm gonna be an awesome hard-boiled detective! My parents were proud of their job. I had no qualms about following in their footsteps. An inherited occupation can feel stifling to many, but I welcomed it. I yearned for the day I could be a detective myself. Perhaps I inherited that desire from them as well. I was always alone. Seeing that, my grandfather must have believed it was his duty to help me realize my dream. I secretly aided my grandfather with his clients, and before I knew it, people started calling me Junior Detective. At first I was delighted, but not everything went so smoothly. What was that you said about you're only a child? Not everyone welcomes my collaboration when it comes to solving cases. My status as a child was sufficient to offend many of those whom I worked with. Were that the only issue, then it would have resolved itself with time. But though I will one day change from a child to an adult, I will never change from a woman to a man. Do you not like being a girl? Is that why you always dress like a boy? My sex doesn't fit my ideal image of a detective. Besides, the police department is a male-oriented society. If they had the slightest concrete reason to look down on me, no one would need me anymore. You don't know that. Hey, you must know already that what you yearn for isn't to become an adult or become a boy. <sighs> You're absolutely right. I'm sorry. I kept ignoring you, pretending you didn't exist. But you are me. And I am you. You've always been inside me. What I should yearn for, no. What I must strive for isn't to become a man. It's to accept myself for who I really am. In any event, you're a devious bunch. <sighs> I can't believe you kept something like this hidden for so long. <laughs> no wonder the perpetrator has eluded the police. But it's apparent now. This case is far from over. That's right. And you proved it now, Tal. Anyways, we can talk more later. We need to get you out of here. Hey! Hey! Sheesh, she really put her life on the line for this. But without her efforts, we'd never have realized that the culprit is still at large. You're too frickin' reckless, damn it. I never doubted that you'd all come for me. Although the reality turned out to be far beyond what I'd imagined. <laughs> what a dumbass. You're no genius at all. We were tearing our hair out over you. So you did worry about her, Kanji. Oh. Shut up. M mind your own damn business. I'll take her home. I don't think she can go back by herself. It's all right. I can. No way, Missy. Don't think that doing everything on your own is the adult thing to do. Come on, let's go. Grab on. Hey! Welcome back. Uh, sorry, we got off early today. Come on, take a seat. 
They found Naoto-kun. Oh, uh, do you know who Naoto-kun is? He just up and vanished without a word. But it looks like he's back now. Way to put a scare into everyone. Heesh. Hmm, you don't seem surprised. You didn't already know he was found, did you? Ah, uh, you really ought to do something about that habit of yours, Dojima-san. They go to the same school. Rumors spread fast out here, you know? But man, why'd Naoto-kun disappear? I guess he can be a little difficult. Maybe he got sulky after being given the boot and ran away from home. But I tell ya... I was shocked to hear that he up and vanished like that. If there'd been a fourth kidnapping and murder, we'd be back to square one again. Adachi. You know what sucks? We still don't have proof that the Kubo Kid murdered anyone besides Mr. Moraoka. How are we gonna make a case like this? I wonder if Dojima-san's instinct is right. Maybe there really is another perp out there. The real one. Adachi, how many times I gotta say it? Quit running your mouth like that! Well, sorry. All right, see here. Don't worry about the case, just go study like a normal student. If you don't... <sighs> I'm going to bed. Sorry, I killed the mood there. But yeah, I can totally understand why Dojima-san's worried. Just leave the case to us police. You know the problems it could cause if something happened, right? Like, if it happened you were mixed up in it. We'd be real worried. Are more scary things gonna happen? No way, Nanako-chan. Everything's alright now. We caught the bad man. So no more scary things will happen, right? Everything's just fine. Okay. Anyways, your dad's just a worry ward. Leave it to me. You might not know to look at me, but I got the most brains in the whole police department. Oh, was that too hard to understand? Did you get it? Well, now that Dojima-san's gone, I should get going too. Good night. Brains mean? Huh. So things will be alright?